So I've mentioned before that I like to include a large collection of bonus pages with all of my planners. It really is the easiest way to give you other layout options because you can easily jump to the page, um, duplicate it, and insert it anywhere in the planner. Um, I'll link below to my video showing you how to do that. However, I know that there are cases where you might want to add a new layout, um, something that's really specialized to you, or perhaps a layout from um, another shop. And so I do have a way that you can do that. Um, I also have some insert packs in my shop that have um, some more detailed layouts that you might want to use as well. So I'll give you the steps and I'll explain to you some different options you have um, depending on what your needs are. So the first thing that I'll call out is um, that you are able to really easily add new pages to your planner uh, by hitting the plus button here. And you could choose any GoodNotes template or um, any of my template packs do come with the PDF pages. So whether it's one of my templates or really any other PDF you might have, um, you can just jump into the PDF pages and you grab any PDF, tap, and it adds it right after the page that you were on. And so if we jump over to that page, you can see it was added in here. Looks really nice, except I've lost all of my hyperlinks. Um, and so that's the main downside to adding new pages um, just as pages, as PDF pages, is that uh, they'll lose all of the hyperlinks that were in your planner. Um, so if that isn't a big deal for you, I would take that route. It's really easy. Um, and then you would just have to swipe back to get to, you know, one of the standard pages of your planner that has all of the hyperlinking. So your other option is essentially to use a blank page of your planner, whether you use one of the static blank pages um, or you know just duplicate a, a blank page that was created with the hyperlinks. Um, you can basically use a blank page and insert that layout as a large full page sticker. Um, so when you get an insert that's a PNG image uh, with a transparent background as I provide them with my inserts, that's what you would paste here on the background to create your new page layout. So I'm going to my full page PNGs. I'm gonna grab that same layout that we were using and you can see it's inserted in here. Now, what GoodNotes does, even though I sized this perfectly for the page, GoodNotes downsizes that file, um, and this is how they help us, you know, kind of keep control of our file sizes, but unfortunately when you're inserting uh, like an insert image, um, it does cause some issues. So first, you have to resize it, um, which is obviously easy, easy enough. Just get it to the size that you want and place it on the page. But the real downside here is that it then becomes a little bit pixelated. So you can see um, when I zoom in, I'm not sure how clear this will be on the video, but it does get pretty pixelated. Um, and so, you know, if you're working in a lot of detail and that bothers you, that's just something to be aware of. One other note with inserting them as images um, is that, you know, it will start to inflate the size of your GoodNotes file. I've never had an issue, um, and GoodNotes doesn't give us super clear standards on what is too large, but just be aware if you're using one of my more extended planners with like the daily pages those are already pretty large files and then you start adding in a bunch of images things could start to get slow so just be aware of that as you're thinking about how you're going to use um, insert images but other than that it's it's really that easy you're just adding these as um, full page layouts and um, then you can write and type on top of it uh, one quick tip, if you are using inserts, remember that this is something now that you've placed on the page. So when I start to, let's make this easy to see. When I start to write on each line here, if I wanted to like erase or move that handwriting, I'm going to have to um, make sure that my selection 
is only choosing the handwriting. So I'd want to turn off images if I'm working on an insert page so that I'm not picking up that layout. I'm just picking up the handwriting versus um, if I had the images, I would start picking up um, that image, which which obviously wouldn't be helpful. So just make sure you control what you're picking up. Um, and so the last thing I will say as well, if you're trying to use an insert page and put like sticker images on, it can um, start to get a little harder to work with. Uh, you'll just have to really be mindful of um, what you're adding onto the page and in what order. Let me show you a quick example here. If I added it in here, then um, it gets harder because if I'm trying to uh, pick these up, I'm trying to pick this up, it's going to pick up the insert as well with it. So quick tip for that, if you just want to pick up what's in front, tap and hold, edit, and that just picks up that. So if you're using images on top of images um, for selecting, you're going to want to tap and hold and edit. And that's going to be a better way to isolate images. I feel like that might be new in GoodNotes 5. I don't remember find, finding that solution before, um, but, but it's just kind of a tip that I've found as, as I've started using insert pages more and more. So that's it. Hopefully that's easy enough to get you started with insert pages.